Hello, my name is Dustin Kirkland. I'm a product manager at Google, and I'm here with Weston Hutchins, who's also a product manager working on GKE. Everyone loves a good origin story. Wes, you've been with uh, with GKE on prem since the beginning. What is the origin story of GKE on prem? Uh, so, thanks for having me here, Dustin. Um, you know, GKE on prem really started by talking to GKE customers. So these were people that had decided they were using Kubernetes and they were loving the managed experience we give them in the cloud, but they needed a solution that runs in their own data center for a variety of reasons, mainly regulatory. Some, uh, some of them had workloads that they couldn't really bring up to the cloud quite yet, legacy things. And they were looking for a solution that worked in both places. They had been using primarily do-it-yourself Kubernetes, which is pretty easy to get up and running, but the real challenge comes on the, the day two operations. So things like securing your cluster, uh, doing it in high availability mode, uh, just being able to scale up the cluster up and down. Um, these are all things that GK does really well. And we, we talked to a lot of them and we, I went and talked to a couple of devs inside and we said, hey, is it possible to take the GK management stack, all the cluster management that we do and a lot of the node features, wrap that up into a package and bring it into a customer's on-prem environment. And at first people were like, oh, I don't know. But over time, you know, we started to pull together prototypes and pieces and we built a, a package that we could give off to customers that was then connected back to our sort of hosted control plane that offers a local Kubernetes cluster running in a data center. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we talked a lot about Anthos at Next this year, Kubernetes and GK on-prem really formed the base yep. of that package. And we then start to layer other types of services and I will say ease of use features for developers like Istio and Knative that can run in this portable environment uh, where you can run it in other clouds and you can run it in an on-prem place. Yeah. So that's really how GK on-prem came and about. And GK on-prem <coughs> is ultimately the heart of Anthos. It is. The Kubernetes is sort of the base underpinning of all of the stuff we build on. It gives us that portable environment, that infrastructure abstraction that allows you to run the same workloads in different places without having to change anything. It all starts with the GKE on-prem <coughs> and then the Anthos pieces plug in around that. Correct, yeah. The, the, the base layer is Kubernetes. It is the portable infrastructure abstraction that allows us to run in an on-prem environment and in the cloud, and then the other ones build on top of and, that. But Kubernetes by itself just isn't enough, right? So what are the other key pieces that plug in that, that, that make it enough? Yeah, Kubernetes is extremely powerful, but for a lot, of, a lot of customers I talk to, especially developers, they don't really want all the bells and whistles and knobs of Kubernetes. And this is really where Knative and Cloud Run fit in. They okay. say, you can take the normal app development workflow that you're used to. So uh, push to deploy, build in the cloud, uh, build an app, have different versions, scale those out. And under the covers, that will actually go and configure traffic splitting services in Kubernetes, add load balancers, scale up apps, scale down apps. That's really you know, what Kubernetes is supposed to be. It's the base layer that gets it done, but we want to make things easier for developers and operators. And is this meeting those, uh, those same customers that you talked to at the beginning that didn't want those day two, day 92 operations, uh, don't want to worry about the, those operations and that management, are, are, are we hitting the mark here? Yeah, um, you know, for the most part, most customers don't really want to be in the business of operating and managing their own cluster. They would ra rather let someone that knows how to do this at scale with many, many customers take that over for them so they can just focus on writing apps. Right. And uh, what, what are you hearing in terms of hybrid workloads and uh, the, the, the challenges and solutions to hybrid computing? Yeah, so the biggest challenge that we ran into is just, you know, <clears throat> a lot of these customers either have data that cannot leave the data center for regulatory reasons, or maybe they need to run workloads at the edge. So super fast, low latency processing. They have standardized on Kubernetes. They said that is the, the app platform that we want to use in the cloud and in these environments, but we really need a full managed stack uh, running in these places. And so um, GK on-prem does give them that ability to, to keep data local, to, uh, to work within their existing regulatory environments, um, but also offers them a path forward to cloud. Like this is the real big key benefit of Anthos is that you can start to use cloud workflows, right? You can start to think about writing apps that are resilient to clusters that nodes that can go down. You yep. can start thinking about global apps and how to do traffic splitting across them but you can use that in your own environment when you're ready. You can move up to the cloud at your yeah, own pace. It's a, it's a real hybrid world. <clears throat> yeah, for a lot of customers, it really is about training, 
and the, the people that you hire, training them on the right tools so that they don't have to learn different types of tooling for these different environments. Yeah. That's a lot of the magic of yeah. what Anthos brings. Wes, thank you very much. Absolutely, thank you. Yeah.